In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can use Elementor pop-ups and a global button widget to create this beautiful call to action across your entire website. Now, a lot of people use Elementor pop-ups or any pop-ups for marketing purposes. So you would scroll down the page and a pop-up would pop up saying something like, oh, hey, um, yeah, have you checked out this, that or the other? Or would you like to join our mailing list? You might use a pop up when somebody goes to leave the website and you might try and grab them back for that last conversion with a 10% discount if they use it today or something like that. Pop ups for marketing are commonplace. They're really, we understand that that's how you use a pop up. However, using the pop up as is in this tutorial as the actual call to action really removes a lot of barriers to somebody just getting in touch with you now often a call to action button whizzes someone down to the footer or takes them to another page it might just be the contact form page where there's lots of bumpy information and then a generic contact form having a call to action interaction such as clicking a button leads to a pop-up means that there's an instant opportunity for somebody to follow through with that impulse instead of going to some page that might be slow to load and they've then got to get their mind around whatever design there is on that page. It's a different layout, it's an interruption. And we don't want to do that when somebody's decided that they would like to get in touch or get started or anything like that. So let's get on with the tutorial. We're going to use Elementor pop-ups for this and also global widgets. Now to complete this tutorial, you are gonna need Elementor Pro. So if you haven't got that yet and you don't mind, please do visit my link in the description and go through that. It's an affiliate link, you pay nothing extra, but it does give me a little bit of a kickback, a little commission payout, and it means I can continue doing these videos. Okay, let's get on with the tutorial and make something really beautiful. Okay, so in order to uh, create a pop-up, we need to go to the back end, the admin side of our WordPress installation and uh, go along to uh, templates beneath Elementor there and pop-ups. Okay, so we don't have any pop-ups here currently. And so we just click add new pop-up. We are prompted for a name, primary call to action. That's cool. And create template. now. As with creating anything in Elementor uh, template wise, we are given a range of templates that we can choose. And uh, I encourage you to have a look at these. In fact, even select them, insert them and have a look at how they're made. Uh, it'll be certainly inspiring, but sometimes the best way to learn how to create is to take something created and just pull it apart, <laughs> pull it apart of the seams. Um, like this one, for example, very interesting. So, you know, have a look, pull it apart. Uh, but for now, we're just going to click close and we're going to look at how to make a nice little basic template together from scratch. Okay, so we've got the, the gubbins of it here. Now, if you would like a really in-depth pop-up tutorial where we look at all the different sort of options and possibilities that you can use, do let me know in the comments below. Uh, if that would be of interest to you, and I'll put it on my list of tutorials. Um, but first of all, we're just going to go along to settings, and you see you've got different options here, so you can play around with the, the width of it. Um, so for example, we could, we could um, take it to view width and 100, and you'll know what that can do. Um, and then we might do things like put it vertically down at the bottom and uh, things like that. So that's all pretty quite nice. We'll have a little look at that a bit later on. Um, let's just do, a, um, I never like using view width to be honest. I, I like a sense of control, but we'll leave it at that for the moment. Overlay is the background here. So we can click on this and whoosh it all around, go a bit disco. But again, we're just going to um, make that nice and something like that. That'll be nice for this site. We want to go to the elements and start bringing some things in here. So I'm going to bring a heading in here. First of all, um, we look forward to speaking um, something like that. And that's cool enough. And uh, again, I don't have global set up on this site, but I'll do something like that. That looks nice. Um, something like that will look nice for now. Okay, there we go. Now, a call to action, we want a form really, I think that would make a lot of sense. Uh, so let's just uh, grab a form, swing that on in there. 
Now, uh, much like my uh, previous contact page uh, tutorial, you don't need me to style a form, but if you would like a tutorial on all the different things that you can do with a, a form and how to get different effects, do let me know if that will be of interest to you. But um, until then, I'm going to do one of these really trendy things where I get... Oh, it won't work. Until then, I'm going to do one of these really trendy things where I put the hand up to the camera. So I'm going to have to put this on first and go, hey, and let's go and have a little look at this. OK, so here we are. We've got a lovely form. It's a really great call to action. And because we're using a pop up, it's just instantaneous. Uh, no page load to a contact form or something like that. OK, so uh, let's have a look at this. Let's preview. Um, clicking on preview and boom, there we go. So again, there's that 80% that's used, using the, uh, the screen width, which I don't really like. Um, but that looks rather nice, doesn't it? Okay, so, uh, and the great thing is that somebody can just um, type in their, their name and then their email and then go along. So number, blah, 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 blah. and then your message and boom. Okay, so that's really great. Uh, we like this so far. Let's have a little look at some other settings that we could play with. Uh, so general settings. Uh, so the close button, we could just remove it completely. Um, and actually, I'm going to leave it like that for the time being. Now, I didn't like the the full, the 80% width here. Um, I don't know, I've got a bit of a glitch there. Look at that. Okay, that's covering that up. But I can still click. So um, I'm actually going to go... Actually, I'm going to go with the 100 and then we're going to bring this down to the bottom, which means that doesn't really work. So let's go to settings and pop up and let's remove these. Well, that worked. <laughs> um, let's click on that one and border. There we go. Oh. That's even better. I'm leaving it in. There we go to settings and uh, what I would like is an entrance animation of us fading in something like that and we'll keep it to 1.4 that that's quite nice um, and yeah sure we'll have a fade out down um, so let's have a look at this shall we let's preview what the hell happened there <laughs> Oh God, okay. Let's have a look at that. Okay. Um, so we click the call to action. That's really lovely, isn't it? It's so smooth and it looks beautiful. And for this wedding site, it really suits. Um, so we've got a clear call to action and it's just showing off now. So uh, before I show you the trigger and how to set that up very quickly and a couple of options, um, I'll just quickly go to the previous contact page that I made in a different tutorial. I will link that in the description below. Uh, so if you want to be able to make this tab system, this is again, it's an improved call to action because it lets somebody uh, choose the method that they would prefer to get in touch. And we would actually as a small business always hope that they will just click that button and, and start calling. Um, but what we could do is copy this, uh, go back to the pop up, and, and we'll just paste it in. There we go. And uh, let's get rid of the old form. Delete. And we just need to sort this out, don't we? So um, what have I done? I've got a negative margin there. Uh, so, yep, yeah, I like that. That's, that's nice. Um, I think I'm going to increase this. Um, something like that. Okay, so that looks good. Basically, all you do is um, you take this container here and you make it a minimum height that is taller than any of the content in any of the tabs. And it just stops the jumping around whenever someone's using the tab. Um, right, okay. So this is looking lovely. Uh, you can make a lot of decisions you know to suit your own website i've not taken a moment with uh, the mobile design of this i would obviously you need to do that um, i would say that you might not want to use the tabs it doesn't always translate perfectly to mobile um, however you style it so you might want to remove this from showing up on the mobile and just replace it with a more simple form and 
beneath that a call now button uh, that would make a lot of sense on mobile i'm not going to do that right now uh, so let's have a look at the trigger that's the the main thing that we need to do now we're going to keep it very simple in this video but again pop-up tutorial looking at different ways to trigger a pop-up it does open up a lot of possibilities if you know what they are and what your options are uh, but we're going to keep it very simple for now so uh, let's go ahead and publish and the first thing we need to do is choose our conditions so we would like this to display across the entire site so let's just go to next now most people use pop-ups to uh, jump in when somebody's scrolled to a particular point on the page or after an activity or on page exit and all of those are quite cool we don't actually want to do that but we actually want somebody to interact and then it brings up the pop-up in response to that interaction so a lot of people would jump to on click but we're not going to do that either uh, and we don't really need to even concern ourselves with advanced rules for the time being at all. So we just want to go to save and close. Now that's all saved. It's active across the entire site. And what we now need to do is ensure that when somebody interacts with a call to action button, they see this pop up. So the simplest way to do that is, um, I'm just going to go exit and to the front of the site here we are so uh, let's have a play with this one first of all so let's just edit with elementor here is the button that we would like somebody to interact with and then it would bring up that call to action form um, so selecting on it and then we've got edit button and then we have link now there is a way that you can um, put a link in there that would uh, link to the id and uh, that actually does prove quite useful however there's an easy way to Get the effect that we want uh, which is to go to dynamic tags go along down to pop up and then click on the spanner there and we want to call um what was it call to action I don't remember what i called it primary cta of course it was and there we go um that's pretty cool i'm going to remove that margin actually for something that i'll show you in a minute let's just spread these out oh no nope spread these evenly that will do so i'm going to leave it like that and let's do a quick preview oh my god look at this beautiful wedding website i just want to book right now and there we go so we're keen to be in touch and then click oh you can see there that i have a little tabs trick on the other tutorial and so there was an invisible tab it's very clever and uh, i hadn't altered that container height but we can see that it's all there functioning perfectly and then you can click off that and it goes away. Now, another place that we would like this button to feature is perhaps up here. So what I'm going to do, so I'm just gonna quickly add a shadow and you'll see why in a second. So uh, put a bit of a shadow on there. Really nice, that's cool. Okay, we can perfect that later, but that is looking good. I'm quite happy with that, save that up. And now I'm gonna right click on this and click save as a global. Okay, so um, save your widget, that's the button, as a global. So I'm gonna call this global uh, CTA button and save. Cool, okay, that's done. Now what I would like to do is edit the header. header. Um, oh, of course I'll save again. Now I'd like to pop up to the header and what we would like to do is we've just created a global widget button, a call to action button, which links to the pop-up. And uh, what we would like to do is place that up here in a nice prominent position. And as people scroll the site, it's always going to remain, which is a really good feature of it. Um, so uh, what we would like to do is go along to the elements and choose globals. And then we've got global call to action button. So uh, we drag that on in there and uh, it's gone to the wrong side. So we drag it over quite simply. Oh, wow, that actually worked. Quite often, you just need to go into the navigator and it's much easier, but that actually worked. Now, the idea of the global widget is that you can place this anywhere. You can, you can um, take the same widget and put it down here and it will be, uh, you know, uh, get it, uh, book now or something like that. And it's the same widget. And that's really great because you might change the pop-up template you might do a bit of a b testing you might want to try more out more with just a call now button or something like that and uh, so you would only have to change it in one place 
and it would alter that for anywhere that you've put it on the site. So I will show you right now. So edit global widget and actually you're going to see something a bit annoying, a bit of a glitch. Uh, so for example, I could change this and it would change it everywhere on the site um, where you've placed the global widget. So if I did something like start now, it's changed that there. Now you might think it's going to change this one, but this is a bit annoying. Um, if if we click update and we can even go to another page and we'll refresh and it's changed this one, uh, but it hasn't changed that one. Now let's go to the edit page. Just as I've put you onto global widgets, I might as well show you that we might, we might save this as a global, but that doesn't make this one a global. Like if I click it, we can just change it. Let's um, go to globals again and we'll add another one. And, and you see that it's the start now. That is now the same. So then you need to delete this one. So there we go. We've got a lovely new call to action. Um, it's swift. It's smooth. It looks gorgeous, to be honest. And there's just no clunky navigation to another page, no load time. Uh, readjusting to the, the layout of a page is just there. And yeah, it's, it's, it's exactly what you need in a call to action. So there we have it. That is how to create an awesome call to action using Elementor pop-ups in a global widget. Now, obviously you can style that to however you'd like. Do pay attention to mobile responsive settings as well. Elementor pop-ups are so diverse in how you can design them that it can really add that last little punch to the uh, call to action feature. Now, if you would like to look more at how to create pop-ups or go more into the features and you'd like a tutorial on that, then let me know in the comments below and I will look to do a tutorial on that if it's wanted. If you don't have Elementor Pro and you're thinking of getting it, then do have a look at my affiliate link down in the bottom. It's an affiliate link and I get a small kickback for that at no further cost to you. As much as I want to do a tutorial on pop-ups, a tutorial on mega menus and all of that sort of stuff, I really do like to make it very practical and uh, show you how to achieve something with these functions. So if there are tutorials that you would like, then do let me know. Uh, if there's something you're wanting to build on a website, maybe for a client or for yourself, then let me know and I can possibly do a tutorial that helps you look at some different features and different ways to achieve that. It's part of the fun of web design. Okay, cool. Uh, please like, subscribe, keep in touch and uh, look out for my future videos. And until the next one, ta-da!